go ahead, have some fun. my channel and today we are going to be doing another zodiac inspired makeup tutorial today we are going to be doing capricorn and this is a very intense sign so i'm very excited to do this and i would also like to let you know that my friend veronica is also a capricorn and we are both very into star signs so i have got to mention her because i know that this is going to be her star sign and hopefully she'll be watching and see what she thinks so let's get started so the colors for capricorn are black indigo and dark brown uh they're both the, the birthstone <laughs> what is that the birthstone is a black onyx and an emerald and their sign is an earth sign so capricorns are serious cold patient focused thoughtful persistent willful loyal and reliable but can also be but can also be distrusting inhibited selfish dull and ruthless so let's get started if you are a capricorn you will be born between december the 22nd and january the 19th so let's get on with the makeup tutorial so as capricorn is a very intense sign and it's a quite dark colored sign so i'm going to bring in that serious intense sexiness into this look same as scorpio because scorpio is a very sexy intense sign and we're going to bring in quite a lot of dark rich color and I'm also going to be putting on some fake lashes to intensify that intense look. Say that a million times, intense, intense look. <laughs> so I'm first going to be starting off with a white base to make sure my eyeshadow is popping, is popping. Okay, so I'm going to be using a combination of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette and the Tarte in Bloom palette. This isn't sponsored by Tarte, I just really like these palettes. <laughs> so I'm going to be using quite dark browns and I might add a little bit of black in there to intensify the brown. I'm going to start off with Jet Setter, which is this light brown here, and I'm going to be putting that in the crease. I'm then going to be going in with a really dark brown, which is going to be Activist, which is the darkest brown. I'm then going to be blending it with my Unicorn Blending Brush. Okay, so I've added a light brown and a dark brown. I'm now going to be adding a dark, darker brown on top. So I'm going to be going in with Activist again. I had to go all over again. I had to start all over again because my brushes were too wet. So I had to basically start again. So I'm just adding in that dark brown again. I'm adding like a tiny bit because this is so dark, this brown. I'm then going to be going in with the black, which is quite scary because I don't like using black. But we're going to try it anyway. I'm just going to be using the black from the Sleek, the Sleek palette in storm the storm stick palette uh, and then going in the corners just slightly adding it to the corner brushing it in there and then i'm going to blend that out that's just going to darken up those edges it's going to make the eyeshadow pop i'm then going to be adding i think in a little bit of dark purple because i'm going to be using a dark purple lip so i'm going to be adding a bit of dark purple to that so there's quite a few purples here and uh, i think we've got a nice selection um let's see what we've got i think i might add in this bright purple here, this one, and we're gonna try that out and see what that looks like. Let's add that on top. It kind of looks Halloween-y actually. Oh, that'd be cool. I could do like Halloween makeup, that'd be sick. Plus, you know, Halloween is my birthday, so I'm living for it. I'm then gonna be adding a little bit of purple to my lid, just like a light purple, and I'm just gonna brighten my lid up a little bit. I'm kind of mixing pinks and purples together on my lid, my finger, and then just putting that on top of my lid. And then I'm going to be adding some white on top of that to make that lighter. I'm now going to be adding some white on underneath my eyebrows and in the inner corner as well to brighten that up. I'm going to be using a matte white underneath my eyebrows and then a shimmery white for the inner corners. I'm now going to be putting on some fake eyelashes. So I'm going to do first, going to be doing some mascara and then I'm going to be putting some eyeliner on and then the false eyelashes. So that's just kind of how I've, I've learned to do it from YouTube. My, literally my first attempt was literally a few makeup looks ago, so I'm still new to this. I'm gonna be using the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. Hope mascara is done i'm just going to be putting on some eyeliner okay so eyeliner is done i'm going to show you guys how i do my false lashes it's a bit complicated for me because i'm still new to doing it i'm just going to show you 
how it goes. So what you're going to need is some lashes and some lash glue. I am using the Demi Wispies, the natural ones, and I'm using the Revlon Clear Lash Glue. Get your lashes, bruv, and then you take them out of the packet, you mate. <laughs> All the simple steps. I actually did end up putting my left lash on my right lash and my right lash on my left lash, so yeah, <laughs> it does happen. So you got to make sure that the thicker part is on the edge of the eye. So you pick the, say, pick the one on the right and that would be your left lash. So go on that, you need to measure up and then you kind of bring your head up. And I, it's better if you have like a little mirror or something that you can check if it's okay. And you look to see if it fits and you think, yep, yeah, it fits. And then there you go. <laughs> so you gotta be really careful with lash glue because it is very, very strong. So what you do is you get the lash glue applicator and you apply it to the top of the band and around the edge as well. And then you have to blow on them and then that will dry out the glue a bit more and then it'll make it tacky and sticky. And then that'll make it easier for it to stick to your lashes without having the hassle of it being a pain in the bum. <laughs> so then you get your mirror, tilt your head up and then look down and then you put it in the middle. So you plop it on and then you adjust it as you go basically. And once you think you've got it in the right place, you just squidge it to the eyelash. Black soul. Oh yeah, and then you repeat it on the other side. <laughs> and then it feels like you've got spiders on your lashes, but then you just basically just get used to it. <laughs> lashes are on. I feel like we need to intensify my eyebrows a little bit because they're a bit pale. Now I'm going to be contouring and highlighting. I'm going to be contouring with my chocolate solo bronzer and my sculpting brush. Um, it's going to be applying that to my cheekbones and around my face to warm my face up a little bit. I'm going to be blending that in with my Real Technique sponge. I'm then going to intensify the white underneath my eyebrows because it's a bit, just going to put a bit more eyeshadow underneath there. And a little bit more here on my actual eyelid. There we go, and now I'm going to be putting some highlighter on. I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star Ice Cold and my setting brush. So now that's all done, I'm going to be adding some lipstick. We're going to be using this from Collection. This is in 14 Blackberry Fall. This is a gorgeous dark purple. I'm going to line my lips with this dark pink because this is about the closest I've got to a purple. I'm going to be using this accent brush and I'm going to dip that in the lipstick. I'm going to apply it with this brush because I think that's going to be so much easier. Okay, this lipstick is really awful, very streaky. What I might do is I'm going to put a bit of dark purple eyeshadow on top just to mattify that a bit. I literally just remembered I had a purple liner. What am I like? <laughs> Let's see if we can sort these edges out a little bit. And then I'm going to put a bit of concealer around it just to make those edges more intense. Much better. Okay, we've got there in the end. I'm going to add a little bit more purple eyeshadow to brighten that up. And then we're going to be doing a little bit of glitter, I think. Some sort of glitter or gems or something. I'm going to add a little bit more highlighter. Well, actually not a little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter to the centre of my lips to make those more 3D. Definitely feel like a witch. <laughs> it's all good because Halloween's coming up soon. It's our birthday. It's our birthday and it's all good. <laughs> okay, I think we need to have some gems. I think some gems would be quite cool. So let's get some purple gems and let's put them. Where should we put them? I might just put some like in the inner corner. Okay, I'm going to go straight in with the um, star sign. <laughs> I totally forgot what it was called then. What am I like? Okay, so Capricorn's thing is a little bit scary because it is quite complicated. It's like an N and then it goes down with a little circle and round. It's quite complicated, but I'll give it a go. I think we'll try some white eyeliner first and then I'll go over the top of that. And I'm just going to go over the top of that with some white face paint. And we're all done. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this Capricorn inspired makeup tutorial. And if you are a Capricorn, don't forget to comment down below. And if you aren't, then please comment down below if you would like to. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.